Hi, Rob Sipple here again. In the last video, I introduced a couple of mathematical functions. In this video, I will build upon that. To do that, let's open the script file 05 popular mathematical functions.r in RStudio. In the case of the first two examples, the names of the functions are once again suggestive of their purposes. The abs command will get you the absolute value, or if applied to a vector, multiple absolute values. The next command, sqrt, looks like it could be short for squirt, but actually gives you the square root. Ceiling and floor might superficially look like functions for rounding up and rounding down, but there is a distinction depending upon whether they are applied to positive or negative numbers. The ceiling function will round to the nearest integer of greater value, so when applied to negative 42.8, as shown in the example, its output will be negative 42, whereas if applied to positive 42.8, the output would be positive 43. The floor function rounds to the nearest integer of lesser value. Trunk, logically enough, stands for truncate, and that's what it does. It truncates to the integral value. In each of the previous functions, there's only one argument, the value or vector to which you are applying the command. The round command, which predictably rounds values, requires two arguments, the value or values, and the number of decimal places to which you wish to round. The signif command, which generates significant values, also requires two arguments, the value to which it is being applied and the number of significant digits. Unlike the round command, where the second argument indicates the places beyond the decimal point, the second argument in the signif command applies to all of the places in the number and not just those beyond the decimal point. This is not by any means a list of all of R's mathematical functions. For a more complete list of mathematical functions supported by R, I recommend that you refer to the Math section of Project R's R reference card, the URL for which is shown here. At this point, if you have a few minutes to spare, I suggest trying the following exercises to test your understanding of the content in this video. Modify the example of the round command from the sample script so that it rounds to a full integer. Modify the example given for the signif command so that it rounds to a full integer. Get the square roots of the values in the flight inches large field of the paper airplane tests data set. And finally, Show the values in the end rate field of electricity rates data set rounded to two decimal places. I hope to see you in the next video during which I will discuss how to substitute values in data objects, as well as ordering, aggregating, and taking subsets of data.